Good evening. Hope everybody's doing well today. And that guy's really cool. Why? Well, he made a really neat game. Iconoclasts. I've been saying that I'd wanted to do this when I was still streaming, but, uh... Things didn't quite work out that way, so we're going to finally cover it now that Breath of Fire 3 is done. Iconoclasts is a action-adventure puzzle platformer, I guess would be the best way to describe it. And it's, uh, it's quite good. It has a very charming story, well-written characters, and uh, a lot of good stuff to it. I'll put it like that. <clears throat> and like any adventure, it starts with us being rudely awakened by God only knows what. This is our protagonist, Robin. Really don't have anything to show off quite yet. During inspections, the roads may be closed. At no time should any citizen try to open the roads by use of illegal tools. Go ahead and save over this one. This is by no means my first rodeo with the game, but, uh, all right. Right now, all we have is this little stun gun, which has an auto-lock feature, and a charge shot. While we don't have ammo, we do have, I guess you could call it an overheating gauge. Procured Improvium. Gee, I do wonder what we would use that for. When I had initially gotten this game, uh, one, it was on sale, but uh, it was this and I forget the title of the other one, or the exact phrasing for it anyway. Uh, the other game was actually the one I had higher hopes for. And then uh, this thing came out like a sleeper hit and gave me a nice little haymaker. But I hope you enjoy the journey that is Iconoclasts. Sonic like the Hedgehog doesn't look quite so good in this new version. Sonic, no! Bunch of feathers on the other side of that. I like the little uh, checkpoint notification. Like a little guard coming out of his station. Yeah, this is a really cute, eerie game and honestly wasn't expecting to enjoy it quite as much as I did when I first played it. And that wasn't here before. Oh, yay, she's here. I am Agent Black and this is my partner. Agent White. Let's see here. 
Citizen file, name Robin, age 17, status, Stoll House resident. No assigned occupation, daughter of Polro, mechanic for the concern who died two months ago, leaving his daughter all alone. Well, that's your backstory out of the way. Time to get a job, right? Rumors circulate in the air. They whisper that the mechanic's daughter may be picking up his wrench. Could there be truth to this? The most horrid of accusations. Liar. We've heard things. Ah, my head. Well, anyway, reports on Polro's death say he was killed by some unfortunate accident. Well, assets can be replaced. Question is, what things could be passed down to his little darling? What could she do with it? Perhaps she's been running about, fixing the mechanical problems of the poor people in the village, like a little heroine of handiwork. There's already been a lot of penance in that settlement. Might you not say you could be part of the reason? Liar! I know your type. Anyway, private practice is a sin, and a private mechanic far worse. Sinners need to be punished. He, the Almighty, dislikes secrets, and ivory fuel should not be touched by improper hands, like the hands of a mechanic. If we all just chose our profession, nothing in this world would ever get done. He just wants balance, my dear. But we didn't find any tools around this house, and you only seem to be carrying that tiny excuse for a stun gun. I'm not in the mood for hunting contraband, but Settlement 17 has been needing a lot less repairs lately, or recently. Somebody is twisting some nuts. Harlot! White. Shut up. Hmm. Something bigger has come up. He's been spotted. Let's go, White. We're gonna have to leave little Robin to her own devices for the hour. Let's hope she waits patiently here. She still has a date with fate. And there goes Best Girl. And... That guy. Look, I'm just gonna say it now, though. You should at least step outside and be like, Yeah, no, they're gone before you go down to the very thing that it sounds like they're going to murder you over. And there's our wrench. The nice, oversized, meaty wrench. I believe there's one or two things we can go back for, but we'll go back that way later. But, uh, Iconoclasts, it, it's not just a charming game, it actually has a really nice setting once you take the time to properly walk through everything. So hopefully I will be a solid enough guide through this journey. Took me a long time to actually realize that the little, uh, the green wrench indicator meant that you could deflect the tax. But, uh, oh well, right? I wonder. Okay, no, you can't do that. 
Not safely, anyway. Some people classify this as a Metroidvania, and I don't know. I feel like that's, uh, I feel like it's a little misleading, one, but it's also unfair to the game itself. Was I supposed to jump off of the... Oh. Now, while I have completed the game a couple of times, I have not 100%ed it. Uh, I don't exactly plan on 100%ing it this run, but maybe we will. We'll see. Technium. So, Improvium. Metallium. And Technium are our three primary upgrade types, with that fourth one that we'll get to when we actually find some. But the fourth one, if I recall, is much rarer. Settlement 17. <laughs> it's not animal cruelty if they attack first. A lot of the music in this is actually super good, in my opinion. You might have heard of me, but that doesn't matter anymore. You are curious and handy. If you are truly capable, perhaps we can meet again. I believe in you. Thanks, I don't believe in me, though. So that's Letitia. Always remind yourself of what's important about life and faith. Anything you want to know? The one concern. The one concern exists to keep the heathens from perverting our faith, and to enforce his will of a preserved, untouched planet. 
One concerned agent shared the same holy life essence as Mother. Mother in City One. Mother is our link between him and ourselves. We pray to her, and she in turn prays to his ear from her faith chamber in City One. Mother is gifted the power to control the shape of the world, just like the rest of her lineage. Their blood is that of the angels. City One is where you should aspire to live. There is no penance there, but sins will still get you banished back to the outside. The Progenarians. The Progenarians are the caretakers of our churches and our local links to Mother. They do not speak outside of sermons. They only listen to our plights. Ivory. Ivory is the energy that enables all of our technology and electricity. It was bestowed upon us by him to let us lead lives of comfort. Only mechanics and engineers blessed by Mother's own hand may touch ivory. The most a commoner can do is handle the ivory batteries handed to them. Oh, no. Do you have any comments on this? No, okay. No sermon, so no words. Hey Robin, you look well. I'm glad. Did your brother schedule you again? Well, Elro is not home yet, but he might be back at any point. He should have been on work leave three days ago. So, did you hear about House 8 and agents running around? I really admire what you're doing, but you really need to start being careful and think about the dangers involved. If you still want to see Elro, you might as well go visit some of your friends in case he doesn't turn up. Working for the one concern, Kimiko Company can be pretty conflicting. Me and my sympathist chemist friends have formed the Kimiko Contra. We work in secret to discover a way to power things other than using rare and expensive ivory fuel in the interest of helping people. If we ever meet one another in public, we don't acknowledge each other for the safety of our cause. By now, though, I can only help out by lending you my tweak crafting table. <laughs> a lacking capacity to hold tweaks is a depressing sight. I do mend such tragedies, my grease monkey friend. Yay! These are basically accessories. Well, hello there, vigorous young Robin. So, want to borrow my tweak crafting table? Sure. Tweaks are small, helpful feature bonuses. You can make them at these workbenches, provided you have the materials. The materials needed are mainly found in treasure chests around the world. Each tweak will list the number of materials needed. Equip tweaks at save statues, as long as you have one or more slots available. Slot is unusable if it is broken. Getting Robin damage will break the rightmost active slot. You will need ivory squares dropped by enemies, destroyed objects, or by unlocking paths to repair a broken slot. So, we can actually just go ahead and buy one of both of these. So, go ahead and get tool assist to increase the ring, the ring, wrench swing attack power. And we'll go ahead and get Iron Heart as well. And we'll equip them at the save point in a minute. House 8 was trashed yesterday. Mr. Andress is staying with us now, but Mrs. Andress got crushed or something. Ah, Robin. This is what the penance does to those that commit sin. The penance has been more judgmental than before, and it's getting to me. I'm getting a bit paranoid. I'm as devout as I can be, but I still feel me and my daughter could wrong him somehow and be punished. I wish I could earn a place for me and her in City One. We could finally relax. There is no penance there. We're safe. I'm helping to clean up around here, in addition to my job, to hopefully earn favor for myself and my daughter. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, they'd have more lines. 
secret. Oh, uh, hi. Can we maybe talk some other time? I'm pretty busy with my work, sorry. My project is done soon, though. Okay. Okay. Maybe somebody later will have cycling dialogue, but at least for right now, it doesn't seem like I've got anything like that. Ivory fuel is becoming stupidly expensive. At this rate, I'll freeze to death once winter rolls around. Girl, I'll light your fire. You just settle down, Benley. Don't leave yourself off your seat. That moon has been coming apart for decades now. The more it crumbles, the more penance seems to happen. It's because of sin, isn't it? Do you think pieces of the moon could fall on us, too? Benley wouldn't allow it. I'd punch it back into orbit with my own fist, girl. Who needs ivory fuel when you can sleep under the stars? Speaking of that, stop sneaking into my house at night. My couch is filthy. <laughs> There's that hidden option we have. So, generally, you're going to want to put whatever's the most important item in the leftmost slot with something more uh, tangential or something that's otherwise going to need to be reset anyway on the rightmost slot. So, since Ironheart protects you from a hit, put it in the rightmost. If you still want to help, Elro, you'll have to wait till he gets back. Ah, uh, so let's see. We can't progress up north. Or rather, up top, I should say. And I have no means of getting up to that at the moment. So, let's go ahead and peek inside. Hi, Robin. Dad's still not back. Maybe his boss made him stay longer again. Oh. Wasn't aware you could do that. I... Okay. It has been a little bit. I thought I uh, thought that would be everything, but apparently not. Okay, and that's. Oh, did I? I skipped over the last house. My bad. I went right to the uh, the hidden one. Robin is very aerodynamic, you know, just keep bunny hopping. Hello, Robin. Are you here to help somebody again? Mr. Andress is upstairs praying to Mother to forgive his wife's sins. She died from the rifle penance wrought upon his house. Don't you think it's about time you changed your ways? I know what you're doing, and you can't go on like this forever. Join Mr. Andress. I can't save your soul for you. Robin... My wife. All she did was search for a better spot to simply pick mushroom. Somehow, what she did upset him, as we were hit by the penance. She drew up a few maps of some caves. She shared a couple. There is nothing in his sculpture about doing that. I'll pray for my wife's soul, and also my own. I'll try to understand. Ah, okay, that was the flag. Man, I'm going to show you something so awesome. Check it out. I mean, this wrench isn't as awesome as yours, but I bet not even you made the one you have. Pontus! What do you think you're doing? Uh, I don't know. Mr. Andres is right here in our house. Did you forget why he is even staying here? Well, Robin's fine. I would never want to see you succumb to such a needless demise. Okay, fine. Robin, please leave. You're a bad influence. Jeez, so rude. 
Okay, so that was a flag, but I guess it uh, didn't trigger anything major. <clears throat> Hello, Sunflower. How's the heroine of House 4 today? Sorry, but I will have to leave again. I just want to make sure my family has a working house first, you know? I would have liked to spend some time with you, but, um, you know how the concern is, right? Let's not talk about that, though. Would you be so kind and uh, take this ivory slip to the progenarian in the church? Even if we fix the problem inside, that damn ramshackle still needs the fuel to make it matter. So, I'm really sorry I can't spend more time with you, Robin. Your thing, Elra. Actually, you know what? What do you say? Okay. Which is just him telling us to go get the thing. Dad's back, but I wonder if something is wrong. Need to go get the ivory battery from the church's progenarian sunflower. Ivory battery. Let me look at you, my little beauty. So, are you good? Yes, Dad. Ah, Robin, quick as lightning. Come over here, by the hatch. Yeah, this is your thing. Uh, I'm as useless as ever. You do your magic, and I'll help you if you need it. The moon's looking real ugly now, right? Elro, what is it? Said you have to leave again right away. Why? What do you think? The concerned job is forcing me, as always. Is your job really that important to the concerned? Is that supposed to be an insult? No. Why is Robin here again? The house is broken. She's fixing it. Do you want to live in a broken home? I just want to point out that, uh... There's literally nothing being done other than screwing uh, a nut, a bolt. I think it's a nut. Yeah, just just saying. Did you see how safe when you came back? Robin coming around isn't safe for our daughter anymore. Why are you being mean to Robin of all people? I'm not being mean to Robin. I'm afraid for our lives. There's no hiding from the penance. Like how the penance caught us all the other times Robin helped, you mean? We can't pay for government services anyway with this ivory fuel shortage. Can't you ask to get another job? Doing what? Pretty damn useless already if your attitude's been anything to go by. Yeah. Just saying, Robin has to feel real awkward right now. And it doesn't work like that anyways. You can't just switch jobs. How you doing, Robin? I just care about my family. And I don't? Oh no. Hedonism. I know, right? We get to bask in best girl. Robin, you little rascal, you're doing the thing. And you, Elro. Such insubordination. Woe is us that we partake in such depravity and so on. So anyway, he respectfully wishes you experience penance within your given home. So don't resist and you'll be back home in bed before you know it. Just close your eyes and think of daddy. I guess sin runs in your blood to you infect your community, destroying common sense. <sighs> I need to leave. Exits are sealed and ready, ma'am. Whatever. Where's Royal? He went ahead to Chrome's camp, I think. Oh, good. We're not supposed to be showing him his future dominion anymore, then? I mean, I hate the boy as much as you people, but you're willing to ignore Mother's wishes for that? Uh, I don't know who I can say no to, ma'am. Please don't hurt me. 
assets can be replaced. Please, not the asset. The little royal freak is obsessed with himself. Badly raised. Egoist. Let's just take Robin to the settlement jail and let him take care of Elro. He'll spend the night with that noisome freebooter. Lights over there just steamrolling over there. This is the penance. That was actually really loud. Just tweak my headset. I will check the volume settings on this recording after the fact, so we'll see if uh, anything else needs to be done. But, uh, yeah. I really should be able to reprogram these stupid doors by now after so many times. Samba said the yellow wire is key, but I only see an Aureolan wire? Hell with it. I'm putting a seat in there. Screw the risk. Ah. Then again, I knew that was going to happen. What, another one? Is the card a prisoner too? I'm out of seeds. But then I was lucky the previous door didn't just turn into a solid tree trunk. What do you wrench with this thing? Mm. Hey, you're a mechanic, right? That's neat. Think you can open the door over there so we can get out of here? Something wrong? Well, I guess you're in jail, eh? Don't worry, um, I could probably get you somewhere safe after we get out. Look, I don't know your story, but staying here will only get you dead. Let's get out of here and show those idiots they can't hold us. Name's Mina, of the Pirates, as you guys like to call us. Now come on, isn't it more romantic to cry under the stars? Ah, uh, sorry, don't mean to be so rude. Maybe you're just disgusted by me. Somebody always said I need to do something about my smell. But no point in physical strain if you have nothing to show for it, I say. Oh, nice. You probably want you probably want that big monster wrench over there. Huh? Oh. I was thinking I could talk. But nope. And you made that look way too easy. You got your stuff, but some ass must have taken my dagger with him. This seems loaded. It's an unbalanced trade, but I call it reparations. Never heard of a stealthy thief carrying a shotgun, but let's try to sneak out with this. Okay, it's just the tutorial. The fact that they didn't take the stun gun to- not that it would matter, because it's literally right out the room. Just, uh, hmm. Sounds like lots of people in the next room. If we're going to go through the crawl space up ahead, we better be quiet so they don't hear us moving. Try to move- try to only move while they're making a lot of noise. I once heard a- Oh, okay. It's not the talking. One second, yeah. Once heard a joke about paper. It was terrible. Two people walk into a bar. They both had concussions. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. Poor Black. I was asked to put the cat out. I didn't know it had caught fire. Speaking of pet cats, mine died the other week. <laughs> the awkward silence. A friend thought about going to an all pecan uh, diet. That's just nuts. Okay, now they're going to cycle. We good?
Just had to be sure. You're doing awesome. Looks like there's guards everywhere, so we should just stay out of their way. I have this pain in my lower back. You think I could have kidney cancer? Now, why would you jump straight to that? Oh, the pain's kind of strange, you know? Your hypochondria is getting on my nerves. Yesterday you had diabetes because your foot fell asleep. I read on the Ivanet that diabetes is on the raise, man. Sleep, man. Got it? Okay. Hmm, the mighty suspicious looking thing beneath the uh, platform. Let me just take this moment to say that I think we're safe. Thanks, Mina. Uh, hey. Stuck on this, saluters. Ah. And welcome to our first real boss. Uh, this is the robot boss theme, though, and I love it. It's just... it's super active. Round two. Here comes the pain train. Oh, Mina's doing damage, okay. Oh, hey, there we go. It was all the angle. was awesome. We should hang out more. And that glass-faced soldier thought he could touch us, but he can't even touch- but he can't touch us. Well, let's hope that was the toughest we'll have to face. Now let's get going. Got a scooter up ahead. Ah, she's still here. My beautiful and reliable water scooter. Well, let's hope it can seat too. Hmm. Well, we're only halfway under the water. I'm still here, Slatterns, for Mother! Game over. I did good today. People. Maybe take them to Captain. Oh, what's this? Found them floating in the water. Unfortunate souls, floating lifeless in the night. What horrible events have brushed against your fate? Such young faces, likely shipwrecked and left for the microcosms to devour. The thought of their quests, unfulfilled, unbearable. Oh well, throw them back in the water again. Game over. But not really. Hoo-wee! A woman washing ashore like some cliched novel. Well, you won't find your coconut trees here. Ah, she's finally coming around. Well, I guess you are lucky, whatever happened to you. Shard Wasteland is a harsh place, however. So watch out for sunburn. Also, there are concerned soldiers all over. Something tells me you do not wish to hang with them. They're here to find pirate cells, I do believe. Don't let them think you're with one. 
I'll just assume you're aware of us, the Kimiko Contra, and I'm aching to satiate all of your tweak crafting needs. I love helping. Except I can't help you get out of this desert. Perhaps look around a bit, but be careful. Well, I'll be in the cave to the far right of here. Bye. And we cannot go to the left. There's this thing, but uh, we are not only unable to do that, but we are very clearly submerged and not using the oxygen meter. Tweak schematic, sand. So we got a few new options for crafting. We'll take a look over here real quick. Kimiko camp, don't tell anyone. Anybody could read, though. I get bored from all this sand, so get talking to me, baby. Just want to borrow my tweet crafting table. So another Iron Heart. Fleet Foot, which uh, uses that fourth item. Increases movement speed pretty good, and Breathless. Hold your breath in water or gas for a longer time. Uh, honestly, I'm usually pretty good about getting hits, so one of those is probably enough. Uh, Fleet Foot would be good. Breathless, you'll want for a few things, but nothing right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to call it here. Because that that's a good part segregation. And we'll pick up soon with the next part. In which we'll most likely clear out the entirety of Shard Wastelands for right now. Wash ashore in the Shard Wastelands. Where to now? But, uh... Iconoclast is not a super long game, but I do hope that everybody enjoys it because, gotta admit, it is a personal favorite at this point. I look forward to seeing whatever the dude's working on next. So for now, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.